Cheers. Cheers! Welcome, Welcome to, to Movie Bitches. Bitches! Episode 191. So tonight we're reviewing Breaking In! Happy Mother's Day! Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. So we saw the trailer for this and we said, oh boy, are we in. Well, yeah. I mean, I feel like the marketing was more playful than the movie. Yes. Which, I mean, good on the marketing team because they got our got butts in the there. seats. It wasn't a bad movie at all. No. Well, so let's oh, rewind sure. it. Sure. First things first, shout out to our wine sponsor, Wink, trywink.com slash moviebitches. You get $22 off your first month of wine. <laughs> so, Breaking In yes. is the movie featuring Gabrielle Union. Uh, as, as the mom you shouldn't mess with. Yeah, you mess with the wrong mom. You broke into the wrong fucking house. That was the one fuck. It was. It was just interesting to me that they let it, her have it. Yeah. Rather than the murderer You know, because you had to be like, yeah, you get him, Gabriel. This is the wrong yeah. fucking house. <laughs> So yeah, I did. I think I thought the the marketing for this movie was much more playful mm -hmm. uh, than the movie was. The movie is good. It's like a solid, you know, thriller. Yeah. Home invasion. Yep. Lady's gonna, you know, take care of her kids. Yep. It, it could have used more crazy. It could have used more crazy, a little more camp. Uh, yes. It, this was no kidnap. No, and it was no boy next door. No. I do love Gabrielle Union, but the okay. whole time I was thinking if J-Lo was the star of this movie, because she just brings the camp. It just comes it with just her. It comes with her. Naturally comes out of her. And so I was like, ooh, that might have been more fun. Sure. This felt anemic. I, you know, everything was This just was like little, the bare essentials a, of a movie. Exactly. Um, and so while I was entertained, yes. I was like, passively watching it like yeah this is like a perfect tv movie where you're just yes. like oh yeah and then that thing was on and i ended up watching it and it was a nice hour and a half and then i went to sleep yeah it was a cool 88 minutes yeah nice yeah although it felt a little long at points I got, i'm gonna be honest it felt a little long i was like how is this only 88 i minutes? feel like the pacing was odd yeah um because so basically it starts and we find out there's this guy who's basically bernie madoff like he's stolen a bunch of people's money and he gets run over by a car very dramatically yeah. and killed and they come out of the car and they stomp on his head so okay he was murdered and for some reason nobody seems to think he was murdered even though he's like curb stomped yep yeah that seemed like a bad the police don't exist in this movie no <laughs> and it turns out gabriel union was his daughter and they haven't spoken and right. they're gonna go clear out his old fancy house that she used to live in and she doesn't approve of him oh, i felt like there was a lot of dead time like remember the beginning when they get into the house and it's just like a lot of her like looking at stuff yeah. for a while a while that, that was, was like you know setting up like oh i'm having feelings and memories but it like doesn't ever really come to anything like no she doesn't come to terms with her dad nope. she doesn't like appreciate him in some nope. new way or or move past something in some or way. Like, like find like, strength or or, or understanding or or like find the secret passage way that only she knew how to find because exactly. he really loved her because he knew that she loved horses. I was expecting some sort yeah. of connection yeah. to the father yep. to come up and be helpful. It didn't matter at all. It didn't matter at all. And then I also thought that the bad guys, so a bunch of bad guys show up and they take her kids hostage and she's got to take them down one by one. Yeah. And I was like, fuck yeah. And she was kicking ass. And yeah. I was like, yes. But I really thought their motives were going to be like, oh, your dad stole all our money. So we're going to fucking steal his money because yeah. like we're going to... Fuck him up. Yep. And well, so like the first guy she encounters, she like knocks him down and he has yeah. his head on a rock and he's unconscious. And so then she looks at his. Oh, he has like you forgot to mention that she stabs him with the stem of a wine glass that she broke. That was like, great. Damn! I was like, ah, oh, this bitch is not messing around. Yeah, that was great. It was good. That was good. <clears throat> um, yes. But so then she looks at his army tags yes. and I was like, oh, so they're going to all be like military, military guys that like got screwed over by her dad, like their pensions got stolen or whatever yeah. it is and they can't live. So they're like, fuck you. We're going to steal your money. No, it didn't have anything to do with that. Nothing. And that would have been better if it was like, oh, they're oh, yeah. all ex-military. So they're all fucking badass, like yeah. battle hardened. They're, you know. they're ready to, you know, be in an action movie is what you're trying to say. Yes. <laughs> Exactly. They're primed to yeah. be in this action movie. And I was like, okay, I'm into this. Like, oh, no way. And like, I thought it was going to be something like, well, you're, 
her dad made her tough and like taught her how to fight mm, or something. Sure. I mean, she seemed to have taken a lot of self-defense classes or something. Well, yes and no. She was kicking their asses. And then at the end when her husband shows up, he was just like, oh, well, and you're unconscious. Useless. Um, oh, you got punched in the face. <laughs> You're unconscious. Yeah. I know the plot demanded it, but it was very like, why was she, why was she so, so much, good at yeah. just, like, beating the shit out of them? I wanted a reason. Oh, my dad raised me to, he sure. wanted boys. I mean, that old trope, but whatever. He wanted a son. And after my mom died, he, you know, really Maybe. trained me how to be this way. And I had to, you After know, falling off a horse so many times. Yeah. You know, something. I really thought there was going to be some connection. She's actually related to Tom Cruise. <laughs> And they just can't die, apparently. They just can't. That Mission Impossible trailer, I'm just like, so this is eight different deaths in one trailer. He never wears a fucking helmet. <laughs> I just feel like the helmet safety in that movie is very sparse. So and Not existent. It's, you know, upsetting yeah. to me. Yeah. So the bad guy is played by Billy Burke. Billy with a Y. Oh, boy. Not... The actress that played Glinda the Good Witch, Billy Burke. Sure. With an IE. He was fine. He was fine. I mean, I kept waiting again for him to have some sort of interesting backstory or plan. The thing is, there wasn't a lot of dialogue in this movie. No. It was the reality of it. And so it's like, the action was pretty good. Yeah. The house was interesting. I wouldn't say it was fabulous, but like it was, there were parts that I liked. You know, like you could at least absorb it. Yeah. I don't know. I had a really hard time tracking the, the layout of the house. It was a bit confusing. I kept being like, which, like, because you're supposed to be tense, like, oh, he's getting close to the door she's behind. Oh, yeah, I'm like, But I, I was like, is she, is that the door she was behind? I'm not sure. Yeah, I've, lost, I've lost track of where of the geography is. of yeah, this house. Yeah, completely. that's Completely. Because they needed to have more, like, distinct wall features or something. Sure. Like, everything was kind of just the same. Retro 70s. Yeah. Ish, yeah. You know, with, like, that slate bathtub that doesn't feel good that was uh, really ugly <laughs> i didn't care for it reminds it. me of a, a cabin that i rented once that was literally just a square bathtub who has a square bathtub it was just slate no there was just slate no hard 90 degree edges no and i was like what is this tub who is that for that's like some sort of torture device <laughs> Right? It's like, how are you supposed to sit in this? Are you relaxed yet? No. <laughs> and the henchmen, too, I felt were almost interesting, right? Like, so there's like... The... Well, it was a little too stereotypical for me. Oh, for sure. But they weren't like going over the top enough no. to be like, like interesting, like fun. Yeah. Like, what's this? There was like a pretty offensively Hispanic, like, crazy, gang member. crazy gang member with tattoos. Yeah. And it was like, Ugh. and then there was, like, a twink? I mean... Drug addict? But not really? Like, it was, like, yeah. almost there? It's like, okay, you guys, he just dyed his hair blonde. Let's not go crazy. But they could not stop talking about how he was, was on, on his knees. knees. You want to get off your knees, don't you? I mean, oh it was, God. like, a lot. It was a lot. I would have loved that if he was just like, nah, man, I like sucking dick. What? Yeah, like, get off my back. <laughs> <laughs> Are you being so judgmental? I feel like he needed to play up like I need my next fix more oh. like he seemed because he was like seemed like Somewhat Is that what they were going for. Yeah, like oh, he's like kind of a drug uneven, addict Uneven uneven like, like he he's kind of the loose thread in this sweater, you know I just kept getting like he didn't want to be here Yeah, but I, I feel like they could have colored in his character more Yeah, well because they tried to do this whole thing where he was hooking up with the assistant, assistant. Of the the dad, yeah. But that was weird to me, where it was just like all of this information doesn't seem like that's what an assistant would have. No, I certainly don't think that you would give an assistant the codes to your safe. <laughs> well, they didn't have the codes, right? But they, they had. All he knew was that there was four million dollars in a safe in this house, I, and then the other guy who she captures towards the beginning, yeah, we find out later was like the safe guy. Right. Like the only person who could open well, the safe. Well, he was more the computer guy. He wasn't the only person that could open the safe. He was just the dude that had the key to open the safe. Right. Spoiler alert. Hidden inside of his dog tags. Yeah, which seems not true. Well, it would just be like really obvious that it wasn't like a real a dog, dog tag. tag. It would be like, that's yeah. a locket. Yeah. Shaped like a dog tag? Did you get it on Etsy? Like, it seems like an Etsy <laughs> thing. Like, oh my 
dog, it's something like really offensive, like, oh, my dog tag locket, you know, I just keep my, yeah, my pictures of my dog in it, I, I want to say. <laughs> I want to say that's the appropriate thing. Um, so yeah, I just thought they all could have been more interesting or mm -hmm. more like campy bananas, right? Yeah. And the, I'm fine with Gabrielle Union being like the emotional center grounded yes. character that's mm -hmm. like not being over the top. Sure. But I needed them to all be more over the top and have a plan. Have a plan and like a... Because they didn't have one. Well, no, and that was the problem. That was a, what was annoying, I guess, too, was I guess they thought the house was just going to be... Empty. Empty. But they were just going to go look for the safe. Like, right? the hidden safe. Like, they might have never found it. I mean, that's a real good question. Like, it didn't <laughs> seem like they were ever going to have found the safe. No. I mean, $4 million is like a good chunk of change. Sure. But that's not like, fuck off life-changing money when you split it four ways. A million dollars a person is like, great. Yeah. But like, worth killing this poor realtor over? Oh. Oh, well, I mean, he was like a crazy gang member. Of course. Who was insane. Yes. They weren't yes. going to kill anybody until the crazy. It was pretty upsetting. Like, it was it, like, it, it was, was like pretty rough. It really was. And I kept thinking, because he's like, like I said, this Bernie Madoff like type guy. And they're like, he liquidated all of his assets. Right. And kept all the cash because he was getting indicted. And I was like, four million was all that you liquidated? Yeah. I just felt like that was a low number. Right. Maybe they said 40? No, they said four. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, they seem like dumb criminals. Even 40 wouldn't be... Like, All right. that's a... No, no, but like... That's like, whoa, that's like good. I mean, that's like good money, but that's not like... If you're Bernie madoff and like whatever, like... I would expect it to be 400 million. Yeah. That's like in an offshore bank account somewhere. Hidden throughout the house. Under, sure. You know, I was waiting for that, too. I was also expecting like... They finally find the safe. Well, they finally are told where the safe is by the children. Yeah. And I was fully expecting it to either be empty. Yep. Because this guy seemed to be crazy paranoid, and why would you just put all your money in an obvious safe? Or that it was just going to look like there was money in the front, but it was going to be like, what? You oh, know, it's not like really that. here. It was like, like a like, like a front piece. Like yeah. Oh. But then there's like, or it would just be like a clue. Like it's like there's the horse stall, right? And you're like. <laughs> What the fuck? Oh, oh man, I'm so pissed. It's in the but, stable. But she knows what's up. Yeah, exactly. That would have been good. I kept expecting her to know more. Like, it just needed to be more connected yeah. to the dad. I agree. And what was going on. And they needed, it, it needed a, a deeper plot. Yeah. Unfortunately. Yeah. But there was some cool action. Gabrielle Union was, like, really good. She was I really good. And kicked ass. She the looks kids, great, too. She looks great. The kids were fine. They were fine. They weren't annoying. Nothing was, like bad about it no but nothing was but that was kind of the problem <laughs> yeah yeah exactly it wasn't like yes this can't be crazy mess right. and it wasn't like whoa this like hardened crazy action movie it was just sort of in the middle i mean there was some like real crazy violence yeah i mean krista miller shows up from cougar town love it and i was like yes krista miller she's in the movie for 20 seconds 20 to 30 seconds where she's where she does the exact right thing that yeah. was actually the best she scene. it was the best scene where she's just like Oh, okay. Wait, She's her like, purse is here? Mm. Her you know like what? her like danger, danger, yeah, yeah. I'm a woman, I can recognize danger, yeah, like yeah. goes off and she's you know, like, it's late. I'm just gonna just come back. I'll come back. I'll uh I'll... Except she made the mistake of pulling out her phone. Pulling out her phone and like trying to dial with, while before getting in the car. Get in the car, you lock that car door. Yep. It was spooky because she did, you know, generally what you would do in that situation yeah. and she still got her throat slit. Like just and I was like, oh, no, Krista Miller, no! Yeah, me too. I was bummed because I wanted a little more sass from her. Me too. Or I could have used, you know, like a scene with her and Gabrielle Union, like, you know, get, getting or... sassy over some wine in the city. Oh, sure, know. sure. And she's really trying to sell this house, and she's just like, I just want to get it out of my life. But my dad is it was mm -hmm. such a nice, you know, give us a little backstory with their connection and stuff. And that would have like, been nice. Oh, what was your dad like? Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. and, Chatty realtor. Yeah, I like that. A little more establishment because yeah. we really didn't get any except for in the car ride, and that's boring. Well, and that that we only hear the husband's voice on the phone. Yep. Had we had a scene because it turns out it was um I forget his name, but he was on like Grey's Anatomy and stuff. The guy who played her husband. So he's like a an act like a, a name ish. But he was hardly in it. Barely in the movie, and I was like, oh, that would have been good to have a scene like, oh, honey, we're getting ready to go on a car trip. Yeah. Oh, sorry, I can't make it. Oh, yeah. You know, get their home life. Because I, for a while, thought she was a single mom. Totes. 
didn't realize until she was on the phone with him and yeah. I was like, oh, there's a dad, but he's not coming. Okay, that's fine. You it's know, we'll... fine, but it just, for whatever reason, it just... And then I was like, like, who cares? Yeah, I mean, also he could cares. have been cut entirely from the movie. It didn't matter. It really didn't matter. <laughs> Remember when she was just like rock climbing on her staircase? Oh my God, yeah, she's like parkour. It was like more of this. Yeah. And also, why can you do this? Like, I feel like that's not a skill that just like you have. Have. Because you're a mom. Pilates. Like a lot of it was just like, I'm a mother. So I know how to do this. And I was like, well, I just feel like, I mean, yes, there's the like, you know, yeah. lifting up the car for my baby thing, but that doesn't really make you good at like parkour and like punching people. Right. Really. So I found that to be confusing. A little bit. Remember at the end when, I mean, cause it gets pretty fucking dark. I mean, it doesn't, but like it alludes to it. Yeah. Billy Burke is like, just tie the kids to the bed and then burn down the house. And then it'll just be a tragic family accident. And I was like, that's, that's not how investigations work. If right. They're tied to the, you could tell. If they're tied to their beds, there right. will be evidence. What's happened? Also, like, they were very all unaware of, of all them. of the gasoline that you spilled on everything. Yeah, is, will be very evident that this was arson. There's no, <laughs> there was just, they seemed like idiots. Idiots. Yeah. But it wasn't addressed like, oh, they're idiots. No. Then at a certain point, um, the crazy uh, gang banging stereotype guy. Oh. Um, well, first she she fucking runs him over with yeah. a truck, and I was like, "Fuck yeah!" yeah. And she runs. Well, she had like him. this whole escape where she's like on the roof, do, 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 and then do, do, they do. corner her, and then she like slides kicks, down and yeah. gets the kids, and they're all running through the woods, and she they get in the car. Oh my yeah. god, turn over, turn over, yeah. the car turn. And then she backs over the guy yeah. and then runs him back over, and we were like, "Oh, good, fuck yeah. that guy." That guy is dead. And then, yeah. no, he shows up again and just has, like, kind of a head wound. It is like, you ran me over, but I'm gonna... And then he turns into a crazy rapist. Yeah. I mean, he doesn't rape anyone, but no, he's, like, he's like, maybe I'll just, to. like, why not? The, the police aren't here. I'm I'm obviously a crazed stereotype, so I should also just be a rapist. And you're like, what? This seems unnecessary. So he just basically becomes the Terminator. He won't die. No. And then she stabs him, like, a bunch of times. Yeah. That was gnarly. It was gnarly. I feel like it would have been better if it was just the mom and the daughter in the movie. Not the little son, too. He he, he didn't do anything. No. Take out the son. Yep. And then it could be the full, like, mother-daughter bonding. Yeah, you know, like, we fucking kick their asses together. We're stronger for it. You know, that kind yeah. of thing. I feel that would have been a tighter... Because who cares? There doesn't need to be two kids. Get the, rid of the dad, too. It didn't matter. It didn't matter. Because the dad... Has, is still unconscious from getting punched in the face. Right. And the son is outside. Yeah. And the daughter comes back in to she save her mom. She comes back in and she smacks him over. That was so stupid. She like breaks a pool cue over his head and he doesn't even flinch. Flinch. It's like, just what like, what is this? Like, yeah. what's happening? Yeah. That was, that was absurd to me where yeah. she smacks it. I think it was across his back. But either way, she's she like, what's She cracks it. Like, it cracks it, in half and he's just like... I'm gonna keep trying to stab and rape your mother. I, it was like, whoa. So then it ends with them all on the porch and it's like right. zooming out and you hear the sirens for a very, very long time. And then you finally see the, like the red and blue lights. And then it fades slowly to black. Very slowly. And then stays black for 20 seconds of just very the song just going like. Whoa. I mean, it was it was as if you were supposed to be like, Holy shit, that movie just blew my mind. We need 20 seconds to like process what is, and I was like, I'm good, it's I'm fine. And then it was like, da 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 credits, ba 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 ba. And I was like, oh, I don't know. You could you could retitle this movie Constant Dusk. It was just always <laughs> dusk. I mean, I guess it was 90 minutes apparently since right. they attacked them, but it seems like more time passed. Could have used the second pass on the script. Could have used the second pass in the editing room, and. Uh, Use a little more campiness. A lot, like twice the camp, yeah. half as much. Pausing? Yeah. Long pauses? <laughs> yeah. While staring at things? So, it's perfectly watchable. Perfectly watchable, but uh, like... But, you know, there's other more fun ones, versions of this, exactly. basically. But it this was, doesn't go down in like the... It's, I would actually really prefer to watch Unforgettable even before this Oh, movie. yes. I mean, Gabrielle Union didn't even have a murdering caftan in this. No. Or there was a no costume changes. Caftan, no. Or an evidence-burning caftan. There was no caftan. It, you, it needed a little more fabulosity. Yeah, yeah. A little more craziness. Yeah. It was the bare essentials. I, yes. 
I my was. Resume. <laughs> was it Garnier Fructis? I, Gar Garnier Fructis. With like that ad where it was like in the courtroom and just like, ah! Oh, yes. Oh, like, like, oh, it's orgasmic or what yeah, was the thing, right? Yeah, like that. Yeah, it's the bare essentials. Oh. Counselor, I urge you to continue. Urge. 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 I've got the urge. She's got the urge to purple. She ran the purple in the shower.